voice actors not happy with Final Fantasy 14 YouTuber. Okay, this is by Kalgan. Let's watch. Today, we're gonna talk about a Final Fantasy XIV YouTuber who's currently under fire by Twitter users. And as most of us knows, Twitter users are just full of crazy people who just wanna cause drama and have nothing else better to do, right? So the YouTuber must be totally in the right. He's not doing anything wrong at all. The YouTuber in question is a guy <laughs> named Suffer Him. And if you're not familiar with him, he's- Dude, I just like love his editing. and just like, not doing anything right at all. Like the zoom ins are so good. The YouTuber who is specialized in pretty much making really wacky Dude, G pose. I know this YouTuber. I've seen suffer him stuff. Like I've watched some of his stuff. Like I watched the Asmin Gold video. Do you remember that? All right, let's see what what he's under fire for. Like videos uh, that gives you the vibes of like old YouTube poops uh gmod videos from the past <laughs> if you were to ever watch one of his videos you would it's know true. right away he puts a lot of hard work into it as well as having really good editing skills he's actually gained a lot of attention in the last few months for actually featuring big names like asmongold in his videos as well as Zenosis. now why is suffer facing some criticism from twitter users was it something he said in his video was it like a weird out-of-pocket joke that just made a lot of people upset or something actually what happened was that twitter users pointed out that his videos were actually using ai voices of the 14 voice actors featuring ai voices of Characters like Gestola, Fandanio, Zenos. Whoa! And they weren't real? I thought they were real. I thought. I mean, yeah, I just thought they were like cropped, edited, like voice clips to make it say what he wanted to say for his videos. But yeah. Even people who aren't even 14 voice good. actors, like I'm pretty sure his main characters are voiced by like Max Mofo and Filthy Frank, who we all know hasn't made videos Filthy in years. Frank? Except for maybe like one or two instances where he actually did pay voice actors for their work. Pretty much all the time, it's almost always going to be an AI voice actor. I thought he was just a master at splicing audios, which I thought would have been more impressive, but now I'm just kind of disappointed. When confronted by this information and yeah. questioned by Twitter users, Suffer responded by pretty much blocking anybody who he deems to be problematic and anybody he doesn't want to associate with. In fact, he's been met with so much criticism on Twitter that he actually locked his account as a recording of video for like at least a week now. However, he did post his- Oh my god. You know what's bad when they like- lock their twitter account you know you're just like i don't want to take all this flaming response to the entire situation on his latest video the live stream too here's his whole entire essay long statement that i'm not gonna read every single word for word but i will damn that's long okay i hope Calgan summarizes it I actually point out the most important bits to me that I find most relevant for this video. Suffer's first point is about how he blocked a certain individual for their loaded question and being intellectually dishonest. He blocked them and will block anyone who he does not want to associate with. The video is not monetized, but if you do see ads, it's because YouTube puts them in there, not him. He never shied away from the fact that he uses AI, and any comment that is overly negative without thoughtful criticism will be removed, and he will continue to do so. The two voice actors in this specific video, Jeremy and Luke, the voices of Fan Daniel and N. Walker and Xenos, were not available on Cameo for a long time, therefore that's why he used AI. But he has paid for voice actors once before and will always choose to use Cameo when given the chance to, but until then, he will use AI instead. Regardless of the last point, the video itself does not contain material from Jeremy or Luke, but other voices whom suffer him does not state. And the last few points are really just him justifying as to why he doesn't want to appeal to others, will continue to make his videos the way he does, and he doesn't want to make anybody else happy but himself. Now that was suffer him's response Damn. to everything, let's talk about his opposition to people on Twitter. The number one reason why people are not happy with him is the fact that he uses AI voice. And I'll be real, we're at a weird point in time where a lot of people are really comfortable with AI voices and content. It wasn't too That's long so ago true. where everybody was laughing at those videos of those AI presidents arguing yeah. over your favorite video game or something. And not only that, but we also seen people use AI voices for like memes or like creating videos where they made people sing. So people seem to be enjoying it and that makes it okay, yeah, right? Yeah, isn't there like, isn't there like a, a song that's trying to go in the charts right now where people are voting into the charts and it's like Drake with like some other like singer, well-known singer. I don't remember the, who the other half was, but... So much, so many AI stuff is just happening, and it's like, dude, how does Drake feel that like he didn't even make that song, but like that song with that other singer is going on the top charts? Like, I don't know, it's weird. Um, let me read what you said. The English VAs of Final Fantasy XIV seem like nice folks. If you've seen the Culinario Chaos video they made, it's so good. We're gonna watch that after. I haven't seen it yet, but Touche submitted it, so I I did open that in one of the tabs. 
if I couldn't hire the VAs to help with my content, I simply wouldn't do it. Exactly. That's why like none of the other content creators have done it. Like, I mean, it's creative, I guess, like that he wanted to, you know, have like amazing voices like that. But it's so weird that like one, I thought they were like actually their voices or two. I thought he like spliced it in a way that they were from actual recordings they made, like just like Kalgan said. That's why to me, it's like alarming, like, wow, it was just AI the whole time. I don't even know. Like, even if I used Kalgan's voice for something and it was like AI, I'd feel really weird about that because it's like, why didn't I just ask? Like, I could just ask him to just record the, the voice for my video. Like, that seems so much cooler. And I wouldn't want to do that to any VAs because that's their work, their line of work. And even if it's AI, they don't want people doing that with their voice. Now, what may seem to be a harmless video for some is not the case for others. One of the most notable incidents in recent time involving AIs and voice actors was with Erica Linebeck. Erica pointed out a video of an AI generating her voice to be used for a song in a video. She has never given permission for her voice to be used like this and is not in support of AI doing so. Erica was met with overwhelming support as well as some criticism that eventually led to her deleting her whole entire account on Twitter, but I'm pretty sure she's back now. Erica isn't Damn. the only voice actor who has this sentiment, but actually there are many who oppose the idea of their voices being generated through AI without their consent. Voice actors such as Josh Keaton, Yori Lowenthal, Kellen Goff, Jennifer Hale, Paul Eating, Chris Hackney, Steve Bloom, Christina V. Venezuela, and a name that I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with, Sung Wong Cho, aka Pro ZD. Oh, There's a lot more voice actors. This guy is amazing. I, I love that guy's stuff. Can list, but the general idea is this: most voice actors do not want you using AI to generate their voices without their consent, and for the most part, they True. don't consent at all. And to be fair, I did look up they VAs who were for AI, and I found Troy Baker, but we all know how that kind of turned out, so, uh, if you ever enjoyed any of these- Wait, let's out, read so, it. Uh, I always want to be part of the conversation, even if sometimes that finds me in the midst of a loud one. Appreciate y'all sharing your thoughts and giving me a lot to think about. I'm just a storyteller out here trying to tell my story to whomever will hear, and hoping I can help others do the same. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm grateful there are those- who are passionate about their stance and not only feel safe to express that, but also have the means to do so. The hate slash create part might have been a bit antagonistic. Hope y'all will forgive me for that bad attempt to bring levity anyway. Feel free to resume the conversation or not as you please. I appreciate those with truth showing it. Wait, what happened with this guy? Does anyone know the context? Because I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah, I think this was his NFT thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see now. If you ever enjoyed any of the voice actors that I've listed, or really any kind of voice actor performance in general, give them the respect of not generating their voices through AI. The most common argument That's as true. to why they don't want Good you to point. consent is that it's essentially stealing. This is their work, their craft. Not only that, but they may not be comfortable with their voices being used to say things that they never said or wanted to say at all. I like to yeah. think that this is something that we all can- Like, imagine they're, they're just like, I eat shit in their voice <laughs> like right it's like some of the things they probably don't want to say and kind of agree on like imagine your voice being used for something that you didn't approve of saying like i don't know like a slur or like stating an opinion or a statement on something that you never had before now the argument yeah. against everything i just said would probably be something like well, they're just harmless videos so what's wrong with that it doesn't make any money if somebody doesn't want you using we don't know if he's not making money you know unless like he's actually showed it and whatever I'm like here this is proof that i don't make money but i don't know still like even if you don't make money with your videos you're still getting a lot of exposure for your videos because people are probably really liking that you have these voices it's a good way to have more views because you have such voices through ai and then like you can funnel those viewers to twitch and make money through that right so it's like you are getting exposure Exposure is still kind of money in some way. Oh, it can be transferred into money. You're saying this is like, it reminds you of a Black Mirror episode, just IRL. Yeah, it does. I did want to like mention that as a point that I wanted to say that we have reached a moment in time where this is happening. Like AI is happening to us right now. Like it wasn't like five years ago or 10 years ago, but now it is. And some lines have to be drawn, like what is okay, what is not okay. And we're all finding out what those lines are now.
Like even with deep fakes that happened recently with that one streamer, like nobody wants their faces used on like other people's bodies. It's just I'd probably be very, very scarred to see my head on someone else's body for like a porn video. It just sounds awful. And like no one asked you. You just have to think about it. Like if that happened to you, how would you feel? So, yeah, there's deep fakes. There's people using like AI to create other people's artworks and AI to create people's voices. It's very scary. And even whole ass songs and whole videos on YouTube. There's like a whole video of Asmund Gold and like AI. I think you just have to ask permission. I think someone like Asmund Gold wouldn't mind if someone like made AI stuff of him. But there's some other people out there who do mind. So you just have to, yeah, be careful, ask permission first. Using something of theirs then just don't. We're not okay with AI art stealing people's works and styles for even the most harmless of uses. And I like to think that most of us are not okay with the idea of deep fakes taking people's faces yeah. and putting in certain videos that you probably don't want to discuss in front of your grandparents. But for some <laughs> odd reason, we should all be okay with AI content that takes from people's voices without their consent. Voice acting is an art form that someone has worked hard to make their own. It's as much of an art form as drawing is, or or underwater basket weaving. These are all skills that people have taken a large amount of time to get good in. And to have a robot come right up to your work, steal it, and then make it do things that you didn't want it to do is really frightening. Now us in the 40 community, we're being hit a little bit harder now because, well, our own voice actors are coming out to say, please do not use our voices in AI content. Oh shit, Colin are Ryan, they saying the that because of, of the video? Says, please don't use my voice without my consent and without paying me. Using AI to mimic someone's voice without permission is not only unethical, it's an invasion of privacy, an infringement of intellectual property rights, and devalues the skill of voice actors. Bethan Walker, the voice of Alice oh, writes, I trained as an actor 20 years ago and I have done nothing but work tirelessly ever since to become the best possible voice actor I can be. I have sacrificed so much and I am deeply proud of what I have achieved. To hear my voice saying things I've never said is disturbing. Please don't clone me or any of my fellow actors. We are professionals with decades of experience and we deserve your respect. And Jeremy Ong Jones, who's also the voice of Fandaniel and other characters that I probably should not talk about See, because of spoilers, like but he also writes, please, please, please don't load my voice into any AI learning systems. I'm all for the future, but I'm also all for having a future. My likeness <laughs> is my career. My thought and character choices are my art. My dedication to my fans is my love. Let's work together and support each other. Aww. And once again, I feel like I do need to say this just in case because people will probably say it. Yes, I do know that the voice for Fan Daniel was not Jeremy's voice, but regardless of the voice used, consent was probably not given and you probably shouldn't use it, period. Now with all these voice actors- Wait, why don't you just get like some friends or people who sound like them? Yeah, people who sound like those like voice actors. That might That's definitely better say this for the 14 side now even more so than before i feel like we should probably all respect the wishes of these voice actors now that we kind of know how both sides of the argument stands let's examine suffer him's response one more time suffer him's response is essentially him doubling down and essentially saying something about like how he has no remorse for the use of ai in this video and essentially will keep doing the same thing because that's what he likes doing. As stated in his post, he will use cameo when possible so he can commission the voice actors, which is, you know, great for supporting the voice actors, but once again, only when they are available. Not all voice actors are always readily available on cameo to take requests from people. Some may take breaks or may just outright reject your request if it's just something they don't want to do. And of course, if the voice actor is not available on cameo, he will use AI to get the job done. <laughs> now, I do want to point out that you can actually message the voice actors on Cameo to get an idea of when they'll be available, but that comes with a fee, so that's up for you to decide if you want to do that. A really weird argument I've seen that's used to defend Suffer Him's use of AI is that, well, he's used Cameo before in the past, he's paid for voice actors, so that totally makes it okay for him to cut corners. Uh, no, it doesn't no. actually. There's still a lack oh, of Lord. consent, period. Lack of availability does not equal consent at all. And another thing I want to point out as well well is that he has used AI voices of voice actors who've never been on Cameo, period. He has used Yastola's voice, and I found her voice actor to have zero history of ever being on Cameo, ever. And I know this because I am a Yastola simp, so therefore I'm still waiting for the day she ever comes <laughs> totally. to Cameo. And there's at least two instances of her voice being used in his videos. And another example mm. of the same exact kind of situation is Uriangé's voice actor, 
never been on Cameo ever, was used at least twice in his videos. I also do want to point out that Sup For Him is known for putting a lot of credits in his descriptions of people who helped him in his video. He even linked and credited the voice actor of Xenos when he helped him with his video once, but you never really see that ever with any other voice actor. And this leads me to believe that, you know, any voice that isn't credited in his descriptions is most likely- Yo, Kalkin did the, his research. He probably went through all the video descriptions and, and saw that he didn't credit, like, actual- VA is because they were AI, yeah. Likely an AI-generated voice. Now, regardless of monetization or not on your video, if a VA doesn't want you using their voice at all, yeah. then don't do it. And I get it, you know, people are saying if you monetize the video, it makes the situation even worse because you're profiting off that. It's no, much like if like an I artist doesn't want you using... Like I said, you can still profit through exposure. Like in other platforms, like Twitch. People have subscribed. Hey, I really, really like your YouTube videos. Here's a prime for you using their art without their consent, then just respect that. The name of the game here is just simply respect. I would just err on the side of, you know, being on somebody's good grace and just say, hey, you know, they didn't want me to use it, I won't use it. In case there could be legal trouble one day, who knows. Also, you are still kind of profiting off the use of AI in your videos because while I get that you're not monetizing the videos, you're still getting donations. And I know it's donations oh, that you can't shit, turn in them the off, comments. but unfortunately, you're still profiting off AI content Damn. regardless. Now, I do want to point out the part where he says, um, the voices generated contain no material from Jeremy or Luke. Now, while he may be right, and the voices used were not Xenos or Fan Daniel's current voice actors or something, regardless of who you use, doesn't matter. Using AI means that somebody was not being compensated and most likely wasn't given consent at all. Now, to his whole claim about blocking people who he doesn't want to associate with, I had a friend of mine who was blocked on Twitter for just asking him, hey, where did you get these voices? and they were just blocked. <laughs> Another person was blocked as well just for asking him to address something on Twitter. And I get it, you know, we all have the right to block anybody who we don't want to associate with. I perfectly understand that. But when you're starting to block people for the most mildest of questions, it starts to look suspicious. Now, finally, the last big point I want to address that wasn't a part of his huge long college essay, but a point that was actually a reply up to that. And that said, he will continue to make his content the way he does without changing anything in the last few days. You know, hey man, it's fair. You know, you can make whatever you want. You know, it's your channel, you know, your videos, you do what you want. It just screams to a lot of people like you have no respect for any voice actors out there mm. at all. This is all and also now that, that people are talking about it, the fact that he's even like doubling down, like I'm still going to do what I want to do. Like even if there's people who are upset about it. And also one day, I think this might happen in the future, but YouTube might put up like some sort of, uh, what's well, like a guideline or like rules where you're like, you just can't do that for your videos. Maybe. Maybe they start like doing some sort of like video takedown if they're like using voices or artwork that's not there. I don't know, like copyright stuff. I don't know. They they because like I'm just thinking about music. Whenever we use music, they take out they those stuff isn't monetized already. So I suppose it it would just demonetize it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe YouTube might do something in the future. Who knows? It's all new to everyone. YouTube has a deal with Universal Music to make some kind of AI music incubator now, so that's possible cer certainly for any singer singers covered by Universal. Because of that AI Drake song you mentioned. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm sure YouTube is having so many AI stuff right now. Like, I don't know if they're going to come out with some sort of thing in the future. Also, like, the worst timing ever, because this is during the time of, you know, the writer strike going on and one of the points from the writer strikes is the fact that they don't want ai to replace their work entirely to make this kind of content is already distasteful and disrespectful but to make it during the strike it's not a good look and in a way that's what's going on with these videos um you're not getting the voice actors themselves you're getting ai thus you're not paying them or getting their consent now nobody is doubting the amount of hard work you put into your videos or saying that you can't make these videos anymore period maybe a change in video process could help everyone in the long run speaking from you know youtuber mm -hmm. to youtuber content creator to content creator with you suffer him i get it when there's a wrench in your plans for the process of video content creation it gets really annoying if you are unable to get the professional voice actor for that certain role you can always look to getting an amateur voice actor who can do a really good impersonation this allows yeah. VAs to have more work out there and as well as you know giving them the experience to be a part of projects to add to their voice reels experience is great for people but not only that if you're able to pay for these people everybody wins. After all, you did say if it wasn't for said <laughs> voice actor to be available on Cameo, 
you probably would have gotten them anyway, so why not in turn just let a up-and-coming voice actor have a shot at your videos? And, you know, I want to point out another thing is, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged series or any kind of abridged series in general where they use voice actors to try their best to kind of sound like the actual roles. They may not actually sound like them, but it still gets the job done, and I think we all like to think that those videos are still really funny regardless. I also do want to point this out right here. Somebody made a meme of Xenos, and somebody else lend their voice uh, trying their best Xenos impersonation to sound like Xenos. And honestly, it sounds quite spot on. Why would I? It mixes oh the God. sugar. Maybe you want that. Maybe sounds like him. you do. Eventually, the real voice actor of Xenos did step in and, you know, was commissioned to do the actual voice. But regardless, the guy who did the impersonation still did a fantastic job. So if you're an up-and-coming VA or somebody who has a really mean impression of Astinian, then let me know. Let your content creators know. Let Suffer him know. So that way, <laughs> we could work with you guys one day if we need it. And that way, we don't have yeah, to get the job Yeah, they can put it AI. on their voice Here are some last-minute arguments I've seen from Suffer him's viewers. I'm going to try to address them here so that way... I don't see the same kind of arguments in the comment sections, but if you guys do see the same exact ones, just like comment saying like, bro didn't watch the video or something. Other videos are using AI like the singing ones, why are we coming after Suffer Him? That doesn't make it okay. If they're not already, these kind of videos should be equally criticized as well. This content is literally like Gmod videos and YouTube poops from the past, and those videos didn't receive backlash. Once again, uh, there's a difference between splicing audios and having an AI generate things. Words that actors have said before, they just, you know, mixed around. There's a clear difference between that and AI generated lines. Okay, but Suffer Him used the AI voices of like other people other than just voice actors, but we're gonna defend voice actors only? Anyone, regardless of they're a YouTuber, a voice actor, whatever, if they've ever came out to say, hey, do not AI generate my voice, simple as that, the principle still applies. What I'm trying to say is that voice yeah. actors are the ones who are coming out loud and clear about this, but once again, like I don't even know how like one person just like thinks, like just sits there and is like, okay. I want to make a YouTube video. How am I going to get, like, Yashtola's voice? Oh, I know. I'm going to, like, download this program and turn it into, like, AI. Like, I don't even know the program people are using. Like, what? Like, I don't, I would never think such things, you know? Because it's just, like, it just, the thought of that just seems so wrong already. Just thinking of, like, trying to, like, Sort of like cheat your way to getting their voices but yeah most of these vas in final fantasy 14 said they don't want their voice to be used in ai so case closed like it's done like they don't want it so i don't know like i don't think you should keep doing that anymore just hire people on cameo hire like random people who have similar voices that's it or ask friends to do it who have like a good impersonation Regardless of that, if somebody says, don't use my voice, YouTuber, whatever, don't use it. One last argument I'll present here is that, well, you know, these videos are harmless, so why does it matter? Well, it's not harmless according to the voice actors, so yeah. I don't understand why we're not holding AI voices up to the same degree as like AI art or like deep fakes. Like, I'm pretty sure we all know for the most part that we don't go up to an artist and say, hey, I really like your work. Can I just, you know, steal it and put it in an AI thing so I can generate the same thing without you ever <laughs> having to help me? Then why doesn't that apply to voice actors as well? Am I calling for Imagine. the cancellation of Suffer Him? Yes. No, of course not, guys. Come on, calm down. If nothing changes from Suffer Him's channel and he continues Wait, to make the same video... what did he say? Did he say... What did he say as a joke? Do we cancel him? Is that his joke? Generate the same thing without you ever having to help me? Then why doesn't that apply to voice actors as well? Am I calling for the cancellation of Suffer Him? <laughs> yes. No, of course not, guys. Come on, <laughs> calm down. If nothing changes from Suffer Him's channel and he continues to make the same video he always does, then it is what it is. Honestly, as long as viewers are knowing what's going on, then that's okay with me. Like, in fact, I actually approached a few of my friends about this whole entire topic, and they had no idea he was using AI to generate all these voices. I Everyone didn't just thought either. he was a master at splicing audios, and that, that wasn't the case. And for Suffer Him, I just want to say that, like, we're not out here trying to say you can't make your videos. I'm just saying a change in the process would do more good than harm. I hold so much respect for voice actors out there now, because after trying it myself, I see just how hard it is. It's not, like, as simple as walking up and saying lines. It's like you actually have to convey emotions and do all these things with the use of just your voice. 
I feel like people don't really mm-hmm. respect how much work goes into voice acting, and it really makes me kind of sad because I can see it being something that people take years to master, and it's actually yeah, they have really, like multiple really characters to kind of get around with their being voice. Good at. Once again, it's just an I art just have form one. and a skill that people have, <laughs> and they work so hard to make their own. And we just need to respect that a lot more, I feel like. As we've seen here with Suffer Him's videos, his AI will essentially replace voices that he doesn't need to, you know, cameo for. And that's kind of scary because, you know, that kind of reflects the real life applications of like how people are slowly losing their jobs to AI because, you know, voiceovers can now be done by AIs. So what's the point of having a person do it? I'm going to end this video with a statement that a good friend Damn, of mine told me that, that really scary. resonated with the whole entire message of this video. Art is a luxury. Pay someone to do it or learn to do it yourself. Oh, this is a this is a bop. Like now that we're going through this, what is gonna happen in like ten years time? I don't know. Oh, you're saying you think in the future voice uh, AI generated voice acting work is going to be more common? It could go that way. It could, but it will take a whole big battle first. So I I don't know where it's gonna go, but that would change, like. Anyone who wanted to be a voice actor in the future, like, it's looking pretty bleak. I don't know. It's like 50-50. I don't know what's going to happen with it in the future. Most surprising thing from that video is his name is pronounced Kalgan. <laughs> oh my god. You didn't know? How did you used to say it? With his name, I wonder all the types of ways people have said it. Kalgan Kugown. Who gone? 